This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to unbox another Richard Lorenz new release from Diamond Art Club. I say new release, it actually came out early-ish in September I think and it's been sitting waiting for me to get around to filming this. Um, but yeah, I mentioned in my video where I unboxed Lost With You and Caribbean On that I had been an absolute sucker for all the Richard Lorenz releases that Diamond Art Club's been bringing out recently. There are plenty that they've released that I haven't bought. I don't buy all of them, but recently there's just been a run of them that I was like, yes, I have to have that. And this is one of them. So this is Purnell, lights on, but the bulb is definitely loose. And he is just such a crazy fun little dude. Um, so it's a square painting. It's 55.8 by 74 centimeters. And yeah, I can't wait to have a look at this with you. Okay, let me get into the box. Any other Richard Lorenz fans in my comments? I know it's, he's quite a sort of love-hate artist. I think there are a lot of people who really, really enjoy his paintings like I do. And then there's a lot of people that are just kind of left cold by it and don't really don't really get the style. And I totally get how someone would feel that way as well because it is a very specific style. They're all a bit kooky, a bit crazy. Um, you know, the colors and, and the themes can be a bit different, but yeah, they're just, they're very me. So first of all, I have a toolkit and oh, <laughs> big heavy, Fud there as the drills hit the table. Right, I'm gonna stick my st small sticker on the side of the box. And then, let's take a look at the toolkit together. So. <laughs> Always manage to lose some things. So toolkits from Diamond Art Club currently look like this. They have recently said that they are going to be making some changes or at least that they're going to be removing the cover minders. Um, whether that means the rest of it is staying the same or not or also getting changed, I have no idea. Um, and I doubt any of us will know for quite a while because that's not going to be until, well, they've announced it recently so it's probably going to be for kits that are going to be coming out several months down the line. But right now we have them so I'm going to enjoy them while I've got them. So this is my cover minder. It's a, quite a sweet one. Cover minders have magnets on the back and you use them to hold your plastic cover out of the way of your diamond painting area. You just pop this on the front, on, the, on top of the cover that you want to be held, this on the back, they connect through it and it's, you don't have to fight your cover anymore. You will also, in a Diamond Art Club toolkit, get a roll of baggies. You get a pen and applicator, colours will vary, um, but they will always correspond to each other, or at least they always have done in my experience. Just turning that over because, well, getting it out of the way because my camera is an absolute so-and-so for focusing on the, the wrong things. Um, you get washi tape, a lovely floral pattern there. Washi tape's very useful for several things actually. Protecting the edges of your painting from fluff, where there's a sticky area beyond the painting area. A lot of people use it for sectioning up their canvas. I sometimes use it if I'm working with a smaller painting that's smaller than my A2 light pad and I want to help kind of attach it where the clips won't reach. You will get a four and seven placer, these thin plastic ones that are pretty good really. I actually, I used to use these all the time. I haven't used them since I started buying the Diamond Art Club thin metal multi-placers because they are even slimmer. But these are very good and you get them in every kit so you can quickly amass an army of them if you buy a few paintings and then you are set. You get a little caddy with two plates of heart-shaped pink wax, which is a very good wax amongst pink waxes. And you get some tweezers because it's a square kit. Uh, you only get these for square kits with Diamond Art Club. 
but you get them in every one. So if you're like me, you've got masses of them. And a tray, a tray with a little stopper. So that is the toolkit. Right, let me pack all these away again. So yeah, I'm excited to see what changes Diamond Art Club brings when they do get rid of the cover minders. I mean, I like getting the cover minders. I know there's been a bit controversial in the Facebook group that they're going. Um, I like them, I enjoy collecting them. It's, it's not a huge deal for me because I already have loads of them and I expect that they will bring us new different things that are just as good if not better. Like they've already shown us that they have a new kind of plastic cover going on the paintings that's perforated and sort of does away as they say with the need for cover minders if you so choose. Um, obviously you can still work with it however you want to and I will quite likely still work on paintings in the way I'm used to with a strip of release paper. But I still appreciate the innovation and a lot of people will find that very helpful, no doubt. So, let's have a look at my canvas. Obligatory stroke. <laughs> oh, this is a really soft one. <laughs> It does vary a little bit. Some are just a little bit rougher or a little bit softer than others. And this is a very nice, strokably soft one. Okay, so with any Diamond Art Club painting, you will get a thank you for your purchase leaflet. This has lots of useful things like tips and tricks, links to their social media, discount codes, very important one because Diamond Art Club always, always, always has a discount code you can use. You literally never need to pay the price that you see on the website. If you are watching this video and you've never bought from Diamond Art Club before and you think you would like to try them, you can check the description box down below and find my discount code, which is CAT20. That will give you 20% off your first purchase from them. You're under no ob obligation to use it, of course. Um, if you did use it, I would receive a small amount of commission, but yeah, there's that, there are others out there that give you equivalent amounts. So yeah, just don't, don't pay full price. That's what I'm waffling on about. And here is my sticker sheet. It's got a little bit creased up, Never mind. So here is Pernell. <laughs> they all have such funny names. I love this one. I love purples and blues and teals and that's what he is. And then the background has, I mean, it's, a lot of it is the neutral colours that you often see in Richard Lorenz pieces, but there's smatterings of blue for it as well. And the bubbles, there's often bubbles. Oh, I love it. I bet he's going to look adorable. And this feels like a good size for this painting. That feels like it's going to be the right size to get all the detail through without needing to be too big. I've just noticed this little worm with an umbrella. How freaking cute is that? <laughs> I love it. Okay, 67 colours in this one. Whew, that's a lot of colours for a painting this size. And three of them are ABs, which is Aurora Borealis drills. That means they have an extra special coating on them that just catches the light and re like the reflection of light off drills around them or light shining on them on the painting and, and they look fab. And then down here, I've got three fairy dust drills. So lots of special drills in this one. I say lots. The more time goes on, the more Diamond Art Club is bringing out paintings with more and more and more special drills. But for now, I would say six is still a decent amount. <laughs> Um, so these ones with a Z are, as I just said, fairy dust drills, and they've got a glitter covering. So it's like an in-between between the ABs and the normal drills. So I will try and show you some of those in a bit. I don't want to go through all the drills, but I'll try and pick out the, the more interesting ones. And this is a really nice colour palette, I think. Obviously lots of beiges and neutrals and that kind of thing, but nice pops of colour as well. I love it. I should say as well, I love the sticker sheets that Diamond Art Club has because these stickers are exactly the right amount of sticky for me. I know, like, if so for my storage pots, I mean, basically, so I can use these um, and generally they will stay stuck down, but they're also really easy to peel off afterwards, which is a good balance for them to achieve. Doesn't always work 100%. Sometimes they don't quite stick down enough or whatever. But yeah, I appreciate that. Okay. big long name there. Um, okay, I'm going to open this up and just see what I can find without unravelling them all. Right, I 
can see a few things here. So, ABs. 141, very commonly used drill. It's, it's in an awful lot of paintings. Um, and then there's a yellow AB. You can just see that coating there, really pretty. And I think I spotted the other one too, but now I've lost it. Where's it gone? What color was it? Orange. Oh, I could have sworn I saw it. Ah, <laughs> here it is. Not too many of that one. It's nice though. And then the fairy dust drills are gonna be harder to spot because they are a lot more subtle. So it looks like a green and a teal and a sort of neutral color. So I'll have a go. Oh, there's one straight away at the end there. And I'll just hold that up in the hopes you can see, but to be honest, through the plastic bag, they don't look that different to normal drills. There's just a little bit of extra glitziness, but it is subtle, like I say. Now, can I find any others? Oh, there's one. nice big bag of that one so it's going to be quite a lot and then hmm not sure about that other one a green a green a green a green a green ah no that's the one i just showed you <laughs> that was nine 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 six six so nine oh seven Ugh, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I always struggle to find them and then I think, do people even want to see this? You'll have to let me know if this is something you particularly enjoy or not because sometimes I feel like not doing it but I don't want to miss it out if people really enjoy seeing them. Ugh, there's 906 but it was Z907. Do you know what? I can't find that one. I'm guessing it's a small one. I'm going to give up. I'm, I'm a bad unboxer. <laughs> but, but yeah, there is a green one in here as well. I bet that's in that little worm. I will try and pick out where they're going to be later. Okay, let me put these away and then I'm going to have a look at the canvas. Right. I'm going to roll my canvas back on itself to flatten it out. Diamond Art Club does have a self-flattening material that they use for their canvases. So they, they have this really nice, um, sturdy but flexible feel to them. So you don't need to do things unless you want to like put them under a mattress or put them under heavy books because they will just flatten if you leave them there. And you can do little things to help, like you can peel back the plastic cover in sections and smooth it back down again. But I tend to find that just rolling back on itself like this is more than enough to get it in shape for me. So, here he is. <laughs> He's so much fun. Let me zoom you out a bit. Oh, you can almost see the whole thing in one. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'll just scroll him up and down a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And there you go, there is Purnell. He is adorable. I think this might be one of my favorites, to be honest. I'm a sucker for blues and teals. I often say that. Um, so yeah, there's usually a bright, bright, bright bird or several animals or whatever it is, and then a more neutral background. But the fact that this one's all blues and teals really appeals to me. And I love this little worm. <laughs> And his umbrella is just so cute. And I was right, I see here the symbol for that um, green fairy dust drill is here. But I don't actually see it anywhere else. So that's probably why I couldn't find it. It's probably just a really small bag. Oh, Richard Lorenz, you do make some wonderfully fun art. <laughs> I have so many now though. I really need to work through some of them. I think I have about five or six. And I've done two or three, I can't remember exactly, um, 
but yeah, I, I, I definitely have more than I've done and I should probably get through some of them because I find them so much fun to work on. I am one of the many, many people who really enjoys having a mixture of confetti and colour blocking in a painting. Confetti being sections where you're changing colours really regularly, there's lots of detail, you're constantly having to switch out the drills in your tray. And colour blocking being the opposite of that, you've got a big block of a colour, you can fill up your tray, get your multi-placer or, or however you do that and go through it and it tends to go a bit quicker. And I find that Richard Lorenz is one of those artists whose work really lends itself to being a, a good combination of the two. You tend to have a lot of detail and things going on in the central section. And then the background will have lots and lots of colour blocking. And there's lots of colour changing too. It's not like it's all one colour, which to be honest, I wouldn't get a painting like that because I don't enjoy colour blocking that much. Well, that's not true. I have a couple of paintings in my stash like that, but they're few and far between and only where I really, really, really love the artwork. But I digress. I said to my friend earlier, she was laughing at my rambling on, on my recent video and I said, oh, it's because I was really tired and I'm really tired today. So wait for the nonsense I'll come out with in the video I'm filming today. So yeah, told you. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so lots of colour blocking, that will go quite quickly, lots of detail in the middle to keep me interested. So overall, it works really well to hold my interest. And I tend to find these amongst the most fun paintings that I work on, which makes it even odd that I haven't actually done that many yet. I will have to fix that. <laughs> okay, I am going to pan over Pernell so you can admire him in a bit more up close detail. And then I'm gonna come back and pick out those special drills properly. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> um, okay, so special drills. I'm gonna look for the symbols one, two, and a dot for the ABs first of all. So the yellow AB seems to be used in outlining around his eyes to make them pop out more. And then some little bits in his feathers up there. The orange AB, oh, it's in similar places actually. There's a lot around the eyes again. Um, a little bit I see up in the feathers up there, but there really wasn't that much of that one. It's not that heavy on the ABs, this painting. But then saying that there was quite a few of the whites and you do see that in some actual blocks, small blocks of, of those white dots around the place. So yeah, nice use of ABs there. Now the fairy dust drill. So I have got, let me show you because you probably can't see all the way down there. So I've got a little anchor, a green upwards arrow and a teal slash grey slash green um, square. So the anchors, now it's always harder to spot these. I find it so much easier to spot one, two, three, four or whatever. <laughs> um, let me see, can I find those anchors? There were quite a few of them I think weren't there. I'm probably doing that thing where I can't see for looking because I'm staring and staring and I can't see any at the moment. And they're obviously in there somewhere. Well, there's a couple down here. But that can't be it. <laughs> there's some over there. You can probably see them all through the viewfinder and you're shouting at me to spot them. 
Okay, I've, suffice it to say that those are probably mixed in with a lot of similar colours so they're not jumping out at me and because they're that in-between zone between the real glitziness of ABs and the normal drills um, they're just, they're not, they're gonna kind of add accents to background sections I reckon without being too in your face. And then the green one I've already mentioned is in the worm and I don't think it's anywhere else. And then that square, there was quite a lot of that, wasn't there? So I see that here in this bubble. Now, where else is it? Little bits around here, just little bits over there. I mean, I don't see loads of it. Again, I'm probably not seeing it for looking. I'm doing a really poor job of showing you where these are. But I just see little sections of it, a little bit up the top there. Oh yeah, mixed in through that background. So yeah, same sort of deal with those. It's getting really dark here. I think we're about to have a storm. <laughs> I'll have to brighten this video so you're not just staring at gloom. So yeah, um, quite a lot of special drills, but used relatively judiciously, I would say. They're not really in your face. They're being used more for accents in the case of the ABs. And then just to add a bit of dimension, I think, to the background. Um, so yeah, I like that. I, I very rarely have any complaints with the way Diamond Art Club uses special drills, to be honest. I think they tend to do a good job between having too few where it is, you know, it, it's, it's fun to have some, so that's a shame, and not having so many that it gets a bit too blingy because that's, that's just not my preferred look. Um, so yeah, I like that a lot. So there he is, what do you reckon? Do you like him? I honestly think he's absolutely adorable. I just, oh, I've got to decide which one to do next. I think I'm gonna do another one soon. But I'm not sure, because I really want to do Floyd the Fabulous that I got back in March for my very first sneak peek. Well, it was a first look actually. And I haven't done him yet, and I keep looking at him thinking how much fun he would be, because he's got a blue background. But yeah. And then there's Fabiola, who I bought the other week. <laughs> There'll be an unboxing of her soon because that one has got to be another of my favourites. I'm just so happy to have them in my collection. Whenever I get round to them, I'm sure I will enjoy them. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this rather rambly unboxing. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you have enjoyed the video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.